man, you stubborn old man, just like all the rest of us. Amen. He won't. He don't want to go to the doctor. He won't go have nothing done. Amen. But uh, Tammy, amen, has to have the blood and stuff gathered off of her heart. Amen. So I ask you to remember them in prayer tonight. Remember Sister Joe at Faith Revival Church there in North Carolina. Amen. And God continue touching her body. Also remember Brother uh, Tony Dean's mama. She's in the hospital. Wanda Osborne. Uh, she's up in Lexington. Amen. She's having problems with her heart. Brother Tony and Sister Tina and them's up there now. And then they got in sometime this morning early, about 3 30, 4 o'clock this morning. Amen. So uh, remember their mama. Amen. And your, Tony's mama in, in your prayers. Amen. Somebody else tonight got a prayer request. Amen. Don't have uh, leukemia in her spinal cord. Amen. So that's good. Amen. Hallelujah. God's going to do the rest. Amen. Amen. We thank the Lord for that. Amen. Uh, also remember Jenny Wilson tonight. Amen. In your prayers. Brother Jimmy's wife. Amen. She's uh, going through chemo and stuff now. Amen. Uh, so uh, as you remember, they remember Brother Jimmy. Amen. I know how it is to have to travel and take your wife. Amen. To go and have these. Uh, confusions and stuff. Amen. So uh, I ask you to remember her in prayer tonight. Amen. Somebody else. By the other day, I said TikTok, amen. We've been having a good result from TikTok. Well, what do you get from TikTok? I mean, we got people that's being saved, got atheists that's changing their lives. Amen. That's why we got TikTok, amen. Uh, well, TikTok's fixing to be banned. That's all right, amen. God's still got something out there, amen. We'll find one way to get them back on there, amen. But uh, remember that, amen. Remember Big Old Live tonight, amen. Facebook Live. Remember our YouTube channel. Amen. That God will just continue blessing. Amen. Also remember uh, the church up in uh, New Albany. I can't remember where. No, they're still there or they leave. Amen. Remember them. Amen. I don't they they supposed to have another church. Amen. So uh, remember them in prayer tonight. Amen. Somebody else tonight. all right. It's going to be all right. Everything's going to be all right. Amen. We serve a healing God. Amen. Somebody else. Yes, amen. Remember uh, Jimmy Keaton. Amen. And his wife Kim. Amen. And his kids. Amen. In prayer. Amen. That God would uh, continue touching them. Amen. Uh, I won't see all of them. I won't see them all serving God, amen, with their whole heart. Amen. Also remember Cook Simmons also tonight. Amen. In your prayers. Uh, she's not doing good. Also remember Carrie and Jeff. Amen. Uh, that Jeff can get back to work. Amen. He's done been quarantined long enough. Amen. Did he go to work today? Amen. Pray that they get that the uh, Body shop gets their vehicle done. And pray Carrie gets better. Amen. She still got a call. Amen. So uh, 
good, amen, to know, amen. Anybody else got a prayer request? Boy, pray tonight. Amen. Glad to see Sister Kathy out of the hospital, amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. I can't tell her. No, no, I said, all that old ticker was bothering me, but God said, no, it ain't that, amen. So I thank the Lord, amen, that God still knows what he's doing, amen. Anybody else before we pray? Amen. Remember Sister Barbara. Amen. Uh, Brother Danny. Yeah, her sister, uh, Sister uh, Barbara and Brother Danny's sister-in-law, amen, don't have to have no chemo. Amen. They just gave them her by about 39 treatments. She don't even have to have chemo. Amen. God took care of it. Amen. Thank the Lord for that. Amen. Also remember, uh, uh, Sister Kathy and them's uh, kids, amen. Uh, dad, amen. You make it. Amen. Remember uh, Ro uh, Ro uh, Robbie and uh, Jenny and Barb and Angie and hey, remember mom, she's got 18 so <laughs> Haley and uh, Danielle and Heather, amen. Heather asked us praying for her that she gets a good job. Amen. And, and pray for her that she straightens up. Amen. So uh, remember that. Amen. I like it when they ask me to pray for them. Yes. Amen. Remember Brother Don. He goes tomorrow for a patch scan. Amen. Just remember everything comes out all right. cancer, but we pray for Brother Herbert. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Somebody else? Come down here and go to church with us. Amen. Amen. So that's, that's another one from far. Amen. From Indiana. Amen. Wanting to come to church with us. Amen. So remember that. Amen. Uh, remember Brother Randall and Sister Tasha. Amen. In your prayers. Amen. As they travel, preach. Amen. Brother Ivy right now is having church service right now. Amen. In revival. Amen. So remember him. Brother Jeremy Ivy and his family. Amen. In your prayers tonight also. Anybody else tonight? Yes, remember, remember Charity, amen. She's uh, they uh, done some tests on. I think everything's all right, amen. But but remember them, amen. I think they're down. I think Sister Sherry's down there, I mean, for sure, amen. So uh, remember them tonight, amen. Uh, how many's gonna pray for the service tonight? Amen. How many's gonna get in and have church tonight? Amen. That's what I came for. Amen. To have church. Amen. I, I I was excited today. Amen. I was driving down the road and I said, Lord, I said, I ain't got nothing. I said, but I read about David. Amen. And how David, amen, how you told him to pursue on and how you told him, amen, he had come to you and he said, Lord, what shall I do? And the Lord said, you do what I tell you to do and I'll, I'll put them in your hands. I'll give them to you. I'll, 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 I'll take and I'll win the battle for you. Amen. Because David said, the battle's not mine, but the Lord's. Amen. So uh, just remember the service tonight. Pray for each and every one. Amen. Unspoken quest by the raising of your hands. If you pray at your seat, you pray at the altar.
don't ask Brother Michael what he means. Take up our offering tonight. Give what God lays on your heart. He'll richly bless you. Amen. Go ahead, Brother Michael. Verse 7, Father, we come to you, my Lord, ask you. Please bless this offering. Please bless those that have to give equally those that do not. Lord, we ask you to please be touched. Use this offering for the uplifting you, kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Those that's going to help this Lord make your way on up.
Amen. He didn't have to do it, but he did. Amen. He didn't have to wake none of us up this morning. Amen. He didn't have to wake you up, let you be in the house of God this morning, but he did. Amen. He didn't woke you up to come in to worship him tonight. Amen. I thank the Lord for that. Amen. For what God's doing. Amen. We uh, just been uh, uh, reading the Bible and studying some things. Amen. And, uh, when you begin to read the Bible, amen, but Sister Jackie, you learn things. Amen. You learn a lot. Amen. What they went through back in the Old Testament. Amen. And what they went through in the New Testament. Amen. Jesus said we'd be hated for his name's sake. Amen. We'd be put in prison for his name's sake. We'd be murdered for his name's sake. Amen. I was listening to the news. Amen. The, amen. The things that's going on. Amen. It's taking place. Amen. They're, they, can't, they can't figure They're not figuring it out. The whales are coming up on the seashores. Amen. And they're finding them up on the seashores. And they're saying that it's them wind tunnels that's causing them to, to come up on the wind, up on the shores of the beaches, amen, and you take a big old whale that weighs about five, six thousand pounds, and you're talking, that's a big old fish on the bank, amen, and they got to get them back into the water or they'll die, amen, and, uh, but they're finding things, amen, that they had never thought before that was going to happen, and they're trying to figure it out, and one of the sides says, well, I know what it is, it's the coming of the Lord, that's well, right. duh, how long did it take a scientist to figure that out? Amen. All you can do is look at the sign. Amen. The coming of the Lord is nice, even at hand. Amen. I believe I believe he's standing at the threshold and they're waiting for the Lord to say, Go get your bride, son. Just go get it. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, we're going to ask uh, Lord, uh, Brother Michael, Sister Bonnie, sang that song. Been going through his mind all day, yesterday, and today. She woke up this morning and said, saying, amen, that song that Sister Bonnie and Brother Michael sang is amen. And uh, she said, just going through my head, just going through my head, going through my head. Amen. So last time come and sing it.
Bible, turn with me to Luke chapter 13. Luke chapter number 13. David asked you what he needed to do. Amen. And you tell David what David needed to do. I said, well, this David's asking you to give him something for tonight. Amen. I kept driving and didn't get nothing, no results. I just kept driving, no results. Amen. And all of a sudden, I left McDonald's and I was heading down the road and getting North Crappe and 
I was looking at that frappe and I was thinking, boy, she loves those things. And then I was driving down the road and the Lord spoke to me and said, Luke 13, just Luke 13. Sister Jackie, that's all I heard was just Luke 13, nothing else, but just Luke 13. Amen. And I didn't know why. I read Luke 13, but I didn't really realize why he wanted. Amen. But Luke chapter 13, beginning at verse number 1, says, And there was a priest at that season. Present. There was a present at that season. Some that told him of the Galileans, whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifice. And Jesus answered, And said unto them, Suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans being caught because they sacrificed such, suffered such things. But I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Or those eighteen upon whom the tower of Solomon Salom fell and slew them, thinking ye that they were sinners above all men that dwelleth in Jerusalem. I tell you nay, but except ye repent, ye shall not, and ye shall all likewise perish. And he spake also a parable, a certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came and sought fruit thereon and found none. Then said he unto the dresser of his vineyard, Behold, these three years I have come seeking fruit on the fig tree and find none. Cut it down. Why? Cumbereth it to the ground. And he answered and said unto him, Lord, let it alone. This year also I tell, till I shall dig about it and dung it. And if it bear fruit, well, and if not, then after that thou shalt cut it down. Amen. And as I, Brother Ray, and I begin to read that this evening. Amen. And it kept coming to me. I tell you nay. But except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Amen. A lot of times people say, well, I don't have to repent. Well, you're going to perish if you don't. Amen. Amen. If you don't repent of your sins, you're going to perish. Amen. You're going to wind up, amen, in a place that you don't want to go to. Brother Ray, sometimes we mess up. Amen. Sometimes we say things we shouldn't say. Amen. And if we don't get it under the blood and God calls us out, then we're done. Amen. 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 We're going to burn. Amen. Amen. We're not going to make it to heaven. Amen. And God began to show me today, Brother Quentin, that we've got to repent. Right. Amen. Well, Brother Miller, what, what have I done wrong? Well, listen. The Bible said to no good and do it not, it's a sin unto you. Amen. So if you know to read your word of God and you don't read it, then you sin. Amen. He said, my word is good. He said, taste of it, Brother Don, and see if it's good. Amen. How can you see if it's good if you don't taste of it? Amen. He said, amen. You look at Peter. Amen. Peter had to ask God to forgive him. Paul repented daily. Amen. Paul repent daily. Amen. He went to the Lord and said, Lord, I'm sorry. Why do I have that thorn in the flesh? You know why he had that thorn in the flesh? Was to keep him under subjection. Some of us, amen, need to have a thorn in the flesh. Amen. So we can stay under subjection to God. Boy, yesterday the devil was really trying me yesterday. Sister Darling, if I could have got a hold of him, I'd have snatched him up. He wouldn't have liked me. Amen, but I'd have got him. You don't talk about my God like that. Amen. You don't put my God down like that. Amen. 
Amen. He said the Galileans thought, Amen. Everybody said, Well, the Galileans are sinners. He said, But they, they, uh uh. He said, I tell you, nay. But except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. He was telling them, you might say that they were sinners. Amen. You might say, amen, that they were. But if you don't repent, you're going to perish. Amen. Sometimes it's hard to say, God, forgive me. Right. Sister Buddy, sometimes it's hard to ask God to forgive us of our sin. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. A lot of times. Amen. A lot of times people say, well, Brother Miller, I don't sin. <laughs> well, listen. The Bible says get angry. There's right. nothing wrong if you get angry. Right. I mean, there's nothing wrong about getting angry. Jesus got angry. Brother Ray, he went into the temple. Amen. Jesus got angry and he went in the temple. Amen. And he began to run them out of the temple. Right. Brother Donnie told him, Amen. He said, You're making the Lord's house a den of thieves. Amen. And he said, My house is not a den of thieves. My house is the house of the Lord. Man. Amen. It's a place to worship. Amen. And I, I was reading this and I thought, What are you trying to scold me today? Oh, man, I was upset yesterday, Sister Darlene. I was upset so bad. Hey, we got a right to get upset. Mm -hmm. Your children will make you upset. Your grandchildren will make you upset. Right. Your step-grandchildren will make you upset. Amen. Listen, the Bible said, amen, that we have the authority over that devil. Right, man. Amen. We got authority over that enemy. And I was thinking, Lord, are you trying to tell me something today? Amen, that I need to repent? Huh? Brother Ray, I was repenting this morning. I was talking to God this morning, and I was repenting. And I thought, Lord, here you're giving me this message that I need to repent now. I said, Lord, what do I need to repent of now? Amen. I said, God, I've repented, and I've, repent. I've even asked you to forgive me of, of the old things that I've done back years ago. Amen. God, forgive me of them, Sister Kathy. Amen. I said, Lord, I know you done washed my sins away. What else is there to repent of? Right. He said to do good, to know to do good and do it not. Mm -hmm. It's a sin. Right. So if you know that you're supposed to go pray for somebody and you don't do it, right. you're sin. Amen. There's different ways of sinning. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Amen. It ain't just because you cuss. It ain't just because you drink. It ain't just because you go out here and run around. Amen. It's how you treat your brothers and your sisters in the Lord. Do you love them? Do you show them that you love them? Amen. Do you show them, amen, that you care for them? Amen. The Bible said, to, he said to, to show yourself friendly. Yes, yeah, you want to be friendly, you got to show yourself friendly. I said, Lord, is this going to be one of them anointed messages or is this just going to be one of them scolding messages that you scolded me with? Because like I said, I, got, I get it before any of y'all get it. Right. Amen. We all sometimes have to go down to our knees and say, Lord, forgive us. Amen. I, I prayed and I've asked God to forgive me. But you know, yesterday, I, I would have done what the Bible said. I wouldn't have spared the rod. Praise God, I would have used the rod like the Bible said. If you spare the rod, you spoil the child. He said, beat them, it ain't going to kill them. Amen. He said, I got some, I put a backside back there for you to whoop them on. Amen. That's what that was for back there. Amen. My daddy wore mine out many a time, Brother Don. Amen. He'd pull that belt out and you'd, you'd hear it come out, Sister Jackie, in a big old wide leather belt. Amen. I'm talking leather. He talked about one of these. Uh, man-made belts. It's one of them good old leather belts, Brother Ray. And when he hit you, you would raise up three feet off the floor. 
Amen. And you would jump. And he'd say, if you jump anymore, I'm going to give you another one. Amen. You try your best to hold your feet down on the ground. Amen. When God starts whooping, you're saying, Lord, quit. Lord, quit. Amen. That's enough, Lord. He said, uh, uh, child, you're going to learn. Amen. you got to learn correction. you got to learn to take it. Amen. He said, you've got to repent of your sins, of your failures. We all make mistakes. We all make mistakes. We all fail. We all, we all fail. We all make mistakes. Brother Don, I, I, if I sat here and told y'all that I didn't make mistakes, I'd be lying to you. If I told you that I was perfect, I'd be lying to you. If I told you that I was holier than any of y'all, I'd be lying to you. And if somebody tells you they are, then they're lying to you. Amen. You got to be live right. You got to do right. Amen. You got to say, Lord, I need you every day of my life. I need you. Help me, Lord, to repent. Amen. Like Paul did. Amen. I, I, I tell the Lord, I say, Lord, I want to thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for that breath of life that I got to breathe. Sister Jackie, I said, that good old breath of life. Thank you for waking my family up, Lord. Lord, thank you for waking my church family up this morning. Let them have that breath of life to breathe. God, you be with them today. Lord, you show them something to do for you today. Lord, just thank you, Lord. And then I say, Lord, if I've done anything wrong, if I've said anything wrong, if I've done anything displeasing unto you, would you please forgive me? Would you please forgive me? Lord, I'm sorry. Lord, I'm repenting. Lord God, I don't know if I've done anything. If I have, please forgive me. If I've sinned against you, if I've, if I've transgressed against you, Lord, please forgive me. And you know what, Brother Ray? I asked him the other day, I said, Lord, do you get tired of hearing me say that? Do you get tired of hearing me just say that? That I ask you to forgive me of my sin? He didn't get tired of hearing Paul say it. He didn't get tired of hearing Paul repent. Amen. That's what repentance is for. Repentance works just godly sorrow. Amen. If you repent, amen, God sees that. Amen. He knows. Hey, listen, my child's repenting. He's coming to me today and saying, Lord, forgive me. I'm sorry. Lord, would you please forgive me? Father, he's asking for forgiveness again today. But that don't give you the right to go out and come, come, keep on doing the sin that you were doing. Amen. You might not have been sinning. But if you were... Amen. You don't go back out and do it again if you've asked God to forgive you. Amen. I'm guilty. I'll be the first to tell you. Amen. If I sit here and told you that I hadn't had to ask God to forgive me for something, I'd be lying to you. Amen. That's one thing I'm not. It's not a liar. Because the Bible said all liars I had to part in the lake of fire, Sister Jackie. He said we had to repent. Amen. Jesus said these Galileans that you thought were sinners were not sinners. Amen. They, but except ye repent. He was telling them, you've got to repent. Amen. You the one. Amen. You know, the church people like to throw things at people so bad. It said, or those 18 upon whom the tower of Siloam fell and slew them. Think ye that they were sinners above all men that dwelled in Jerusalem. But this is what Jesus said. He said, but I tell you, nay, but, but except you repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Then he gave us a, a parable about the fig tree. Brother Ray, he said, and he spake also of this a parable. A certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard. And he came and sought fruit thereon and found none. Then said he unto the dresser of the vineyard. In other words, the one that takes care of the pruning the trees and keeping the limbs trimmed and the dead fruit picked off. Amen. Keeping it pruned and trimmed and left. Getting it ready. Amen. He said, Behold, these three years I have come seeking fruit upon this fig tree 
and found none. Cut it down. Why cover it to the ground? And he answered and said unto him, Lord, let it alone this year also, till I shall dig about it. And Dougie, I'm going to tell you what he showed me on this, Brother Ray. Then he said unto the dresser of his vineyard, I look as myself as being the pastor of He's Alive Church. I'm the dresser of this vineyard. Amen. If I don't prune and trim you up, and if I don't preach on your sin, and if I don't preach on sin, amen, you're not going to grow. You're not going to have fruit. Amen. You're not going to bring forth fruit. The Bible said a good tree will bring forth good fruit. A corrupt tree will bring forth evil fruit. He said, Behold, these three years I have come seeking fruit on this fig tree and find none. Cut it down. Why cover it to the ground? Sister Bonnie, we've been here going on six years. Brother Ray, people said we wouldn't make it past six months. People said it wasn't of God. Brother Don, but we kept on pressing on. We kept on pushing on, Sister Jackie. We had to keep pruning the trim and trees. And we had to keep, amen, taking those Holy Ghost trimming scissors and cutting some limbs off, amen, to get us stout and get us strong, amen, so we can bring forth fruit. Amen, I'm here to tell you this year, if you don't bring forth fruit, God's fixing to bring you down. God's fixing to bring you down. Amen. What are you talking about, Brother Miller? Amen. Just because you come to church and you sit on the pew. Amen. And you don't go out and work in the vineyard, you're not going to get fruits on your tree. Amen. You got to get out and work. Amen. You got to dig around it. You got to dung around it. Amen. You got to get it fertilized. Amen. Get out there and tell somebody about Jesus. The more you tell about Jesus, that's the more fertilizer that you're getting around your fruit. Amen. On your tree. And when you start winning fruit into the Lord, you start bringing harvest in. Amen. You start bringing people into the house of God. Amen. That's when the church begins to start growing. Amen. That's when the church begins to grow. Amen. That's when it begins to blossom. And we're blossoming. If you ain't been seeing the blossom, there's something wrong. Right. Amen. God said, I'm going to bring them back, and I'm going to bring them in. Amen. I'm bringing them from afar. Amen. But I'm going to bring them in. Amen. They're coming. Amen. They're starting to blossom. But church, this year, God's give you another year to work for him. He's give you another year to start working. Amen. Start building his kingdom. Amen. you got to repent. Repent. Amen. Repent. There's a something about repentance. Amen. You can say, well, oh, I'm sorry. But if you truly don't mean it, it ain't going to do you no good. But you've got to truly mean it when you repent. And say, God, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I need your strength to make it through. I need your strength, Lord. you got to help me. I need it, Lord. And the, the men of the vineyard said, Then said he unto the dresser of the vineyard, Behold, these three years I've come seeking fruit on this fig tree, and find none. Cut it down. Why cumber it to the ground? Sister Bonnie, God's been going around to some of these churches. Amen. That he's been trying, amen, for years to get them to get on fire and to start moving for God. Amen. And they don't want to move. Amen. Their tree is drying up. Amen. Their vineyards are drying up. Amen. People are not wanting to move in the Spirit of God. Amen. They'll come and sit on their pew. Amen. For just a couple of hours and they're ready to go home. Amen. And everything's hunky dory. Amen. But God said you got to linger in the vineyard. Amen. We gotta press on through the vineyard. Amen. I remember years ago, amen, when I used to cut tobacco, Brother Don, we started six o'clock in the morning and quit at six o'clock at night. And we had to go through those backer fields. And we got in one road and seemed like we'd never get through it. Amen. But we would cut that tobacco. Amen. And all day long, 
Sister Jackie, we'd have to go through that field. Right, we get to the end of that row of that factory field, Brother Gray. And it just like it was never going to come to an end. And I ain't talking about factor this tall. I'm talking about factor over your head. They don't grow it like they used to grow it, Brother Don. Amen. Stalks about that bigger realm. And you're taking that thing and you're chopping at it. And you're going through there every day. Go, and you're cutting it down. Amen. And you're trying to get that farmer's tobacco in for him. Amen. And at the end of that row, there's going to be a cooler of coke down there waiting for you. Or R.C. in a moon pie. Amen. I remember it just like it was yesterday. Amen. Me and my uncle, me, he would be the uh, one that spiked it. I'd cut it. He'd spike it. Amen. And we would start and we would go through the rows. And we couldn't wait till we got to the end because there was an ice cold drink. Amen. Waiting for us. But we had to work all through the vineyard. Amen. We had to work through that field. Uh, amen. That's what the church has got to do. Uh, amen. They got to repent and begin to work through the field. Uh, amen. They got to get back out in the field. Uh, amen. He said, plow and plow it deep. Uh, amen. It's planting season. Uh, amen. It's a season coming up. Uh, amen. It's a planting season. Uh, amen. And for long, it'll be a harvest. Amen. amen that we got to get. Is there anybody here tonight? Or am I just here by myself? Amen. I, I came to have church. Amen. I came to tell somebody they got to repent. A lot of y'all have to go home tonight and say, Lord, I'm sorry. I didn't get in tonight. I'm sorry. Oh, Brother Miller, you just made me mad. I can't help that. I got it today, Sister Kathy. He told me today. He said, you got to repent. You got to repent. If the pastor's got to repent, the lay members has got to repent. Amen. Well, Brother Miller, I won't be back. You just made me mad. Well, you got mad at me. You got mad at the Lord. I came to worship God tonight. Amen. I come to preach the gospel. Amen. I'll keep on preaching it. Amen. I'll just tell you. Amen. He said to him, he said, and he answered him, saying unto him, Lord, let it alone. Can you see him talking to him saying, Jesus, just let me alone. Help him, Lord. I got this. Brother Quinn, I got this, Lord. You just leave me alone. I got it. I can get out here and I can dig around this tree. Man, I'll fertilize it. I'll put some bird dung around it. I'll dung it. In other words, I'll put bird poop or I'll put chicken poop or I'll put cow manure around it. I'll get it all nice. I'll get it when he comes the next time you come around. There's going to be pigs on that tree. Amen. Sometimes a pig tree won't bring forth pigs. Uh, you can have a pig tree all year long. Uh, and uh, one year it won't bring forth fruit. But the next year it will bring forth fruit. Uh, Jesus said sometimes you ain't going to bring forth fruit. But one day you will. You'll dig around it. Amen. Amen. And you repent. Amen. He said, Lord, let it alone. In other words, leave that tree alone. Don't you cut it down. See, that's the dress of this is me. I'm saying, Lord, don't cut the church down. Lord, just let it grow a little bit more. Let it get more on fire. Let it get more on fire for you. Lord, let the Holy Ghost fall in this place. Amen. We don't work it up and we don't shout it down. Amen. We let God bring it in here. Amen. And when it comes in, it comes in like a flood. You don't believe me, Sister Bonnie, I'll do the hop. Amen. Sister Connie, I'll do the Indian war call. Sister Cassie, I'll let out a war call. Amen. Sister Cassie, you'll be crying and praising the Lord. Amen. Why? Amen. Because the Holy Ghost comes in. Amen. We welcome him in. We don't have to work him up. We don't have to keep playing music to bring him in. Amen. All we got to do is start living right. Start pruning around our trees, digging around our trees. Put some fertilizer. Put the Word of God around it. Amen. Put some dung around it. Amen. Get a drink of that good water. Amen. And that tree will start bringing forth fruit. Amen. Well, hallelujah. He said, and if 
it bear fruit well and if not then after that thou shalt cut it down I want to bear fruit brother Ray I want to, I want to bear fruit on my tree I don't want him to come and cut me down Amen. He told me today, he said, repent. Luke 13. Luke 13. That's all he said was Luke 13, Sister Kathy. I got home, Nor said, you need to eat your sandwich. I said, oh, I got to do something first. Amen. I opened my Bible up to Luke 13. And he said, you've got to repent. You've got to repent. See, we say a lot of people need to repent. But have you looked at yourself in the mirror? Say, Lord, what have I got to repent of? Show me, God, so I can get it right. Amen. Grudges, amen, ain't going to get you into heaven. Right. If you don't repent of them grudges, you're not going to make it. You're going to stand before God and he's going to look at you and say, uh, 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 you hold the grudge. You wouldn't forgive your brother. He said, how do you think I'm going to forgive you? You wouldn't forgive your brother or your sister. Amen. That's the word. Amen. Man, I didn't know, amen, it was going to be this hard. Amen. Listen to verse 10. And he was teaching one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity. 18, hold it. How many people was it in the, when the Tower of Ab uh, Salon fell? Eighteen. All right, how many, how many, how long was it this woman had the infirmity? Eighteen years. And was bowed together, bowed together, and could not wise lift up herself. And no wise could lift up herself. And Jesus saw her, and he called her, to him, and he said, Woman, thou art loose from thy infirmity. And he laid his hand upon her, and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. And the rulers of the synagogue answered with indignation, because that Jesus had healed on the Sabbath day and said unto the people, There are six days in which men ought to work. And in them therefore came and be healed and not on the Sabbath day. Listen what Jesus said. <laughs> then the Lord then answered him and said, Thou hypocrite. Boy, Jesus loves people, don't he? Brother Ray, that's all I hear. Boy, oh, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Yes, he does. But he don't like your sin. And listen to what he said. He said, Thou hypocrite, does not each one of you on the Sabbath lose his ox or his asses from the stall? And lead them away to water. And all not this with this woman being a daughter of Abraham, who Satan had bound, to lo these eighteen years be loose from the bond on the Sabbath day. And when he had said these things. All the adversaries were ashamed. And all the people rejoiced for all the glorious things that were done by him. In other words, and when he had said these things, all the adversaries, all those that didn't want to repent. They said, you've got to repent. Amen. All these adversaries, 
hallelujah, were ashamed, and all the people rejoiced for all the glorious things that were done by him. Then said he unto, unto, what is the kingdom of God like? And whereto shall I resemble it? It is like a grain of mustard seed, which a man took and cast into his garden. And it grew and it waxed great tree. And the fowls of the air lodged in the branches of it. And again, he said, Whereunto shall I think? Whereunto shall I like the kingdom of God? And it is like leaven. Even as a woman took, the, uh, took and hid in three measures of meal till the whole was leaven. And he went through the city and the village, teaching and so journeying towards Jerusalem. Then said one unto him, Lord, are there a few that be saved? And he said unto them, Strive to enter in at the straight gate. For many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in and shall not be able. Man, Jesus is talking stern to me, Brother Ray. Amen. He's telling them straight out of the Bible. He's telling us tonight straight out of the Bible. There'll be any that wants to enter in at that straight gate, but they're not going to make it. Amen. Oh, Lord, did I, did I not do this? And, Lord, did I not do that? Like I said a while ago, if you got a grudge, amen, it's not going to get you there. Amen. Right. amen, you're not going to make it in that straight gate. He said, when once the master of the house is risen up and has shut the door and ye being standing without and to knock at the door saying Lord, Lord, open unto us and he shall answer and say unto you I know ye not which ye are. See Jesus ain't going to let people just come on in. Sister Bonnie, he's not going to let the alcoholic just walk on into heaven. He's not going to let the drug addicts just walk right on into heaven. Sister Jack, he's not going to let the liars and the cussers and those that don't repent, he's not just going to let them walk on into heaven. They're going to stop them at the gate. And they're going to have a lot of gate problems. Amen. And it ain't going to be St. Peter standing at the gate. Amen. But they're going to stop you and you're not going to get to go in. Amen. You're going to be standing there and he's going to look at you and say, this is what he said he said. Lord, Lord, open unto us and he shall answer and say unto you, I know you not which ye are. That's what he's going to say to you. Amen. If we ain't ready to go, Amen. we ain't repentant, Amen. got everything under the blood, mm -hmm. amen, listen to what he said. Sister Bonnie, he said, Then shall ye begin to say, We have eaten, <laughs> and we have drinking in thy presence, and thou hast taught in our streets. But he shall say, I tell you, I know you not which ye are. Depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity. Iniquity. You know what iniquity is? Sin. You know what else iniquity is? A fornicator, an adulteress, a drunkard, a drug addict. Sin. Sin. Well, preacher, you don't need to preach on stuff like that. Don't preach it. Why not? That's why churches right now are filling up because they won't preach on sin. Amen. Amen. I heard one the other night say, well, there ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of drinking every once in a while. 
there ain't nothing wrong with going to the casino every once in a while. God said he would take care of your finances. And the devil will rob you. <laughs> you go play him, and all of a sudden you're just wasting your money. Odds of winning is a thousand to one. The odds of winning is a thousand to one. You got them going to the roulette table. Brother Don, a lot of them are rigged anyway. They got magnets to stop that ball where they want that ball to stop at. Brother Ray, there's a lot of tricks that the devil's got to draw and entice God's people in. Right. And a lot of preachers will say, well, it ain't nothing wrong with it. We do it. And it's okay. But he's going to tell them, I know you're not. I don't know you. I don't know you. Who are you? Well, I, I'm one of yours. I got saved, and I, I asked you to forgive me of my sins. But he'd look at you and say, sorry. I never knew you. Who do you think you are? Amen. He said, you got to live. You got to live it. Amen. He said, did then shall he begin to say, We have eaten and we have drinking in thy presence. And thou hast taught in our streets. Jesus, right now, is feeding you the word of God. I'm speaking it, but it's coming from the word of God. And it's food for you. You're receiving, you're eating in his presence. Because he said, where two or three are gathered in my name, I'm in the midst. So you're in his presence right now. You're eating the word of God from the man of God. Because all I'm doing is showing you what the word of God says tonight. I'm preaching out of Luke chapter 13. Amen. I'm telling you, you've got to repent. I'm telling you, you've got to trim around your trees. I'm telling you, you got to dung around your roots. Amen. you got to get in the Word. you got to fertilize. Amen. In order to make heaven your hope. I'm trying to tell you how you can enter in at the straight gate. I'm trying to tell you, amen, that sin is not going to go in. Amen. Huh. But he shall say, I tell you, I know you not. For if ye are, depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth when ye shall see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God and ye yourselves thrust out. Does that sound like a loving Jesus? Does that sound like that Savior really loves you? If you listen to that, that sounds like he's being mean to you, don't you? That sounds like he got a, kind of got angry with them, Brother Tom. Amen. The Bible said to get angry and sin not. That, that makes me sound, when well, I'm reading that today, it made me feel like, hey, Jesus is trying to tell me, hey, I can get angry myself, and I can put people in their place. Right. Amen. Because either you're going to live right or you're not. Either you're going to get around your tree, you're going to dig around it, you're going to dug around it, amen, you're going to try, amen, to get the church on fire, amen, you're going to pass, you're going to pray, amen, to see the move of God this year. Amen, he, he don't come, amen, just to see a person sitting in the church house, just to say it. He comes to see them to worship him. He comes to see them to get into the praise. Amen. To get up and give him thanks. Give him glory. Give him honor. Amen. Because if I wanted to sit, I'd stay at home and sit. My toes was a drawing today. I had Charlie horses in my legs, Brother Michael. Amen. I was hurting when the Lord was hurting so bad. Amen. And I thought, boy, it'd be easy for me to stay at home tonight and just let Brother Wayne take over. See, when I went to the bank and I come back, God began to speak to me. Repent of that, son, for even thinking that. For even thinking like that. Amen. I put you here to preach. I put you here to preach the gospel. Hallelujah. And they shall come from the east and from the west. 
in front of the door where we got them coming from. We got them coming from the east. We got them coming from the west. We got them coming from the north. And we got them coming from the south. Listen to what he said. And they shall come from the east and from the west and from the north and from the south and shall sit down in the kingdom of God. And behold, there are behold, there are last which shall be first, and there are first which shall be last. The same day there came a certain of the Pharisees, saying unto him, Get thee out and depart thence, for Herod will kill thee. Listen to what he said. And he said unto them, Go ye and tell that fox. You just go ahead and tell him. You go ahead and tell him. Amen. That old fox, he said. Behold, I cast out devils. <laughs> Jesus said, just let him come on. Bring it on, Herod. I'll cast you out. I've casted out devils before. I can cast them out now. Said, just bring them on. Just go tell that old box to come on in this place. Go tell that drug addict to come that he's a live community church. Go tell that alcoholic to come that he's a live community church. Go out there and tell that fornicator to come that he's a live community church. Go out there and tell that sinner person, come to Heath of Life Community Church. There is living water flowing. Yeah. There's the Holy Ghost moving. Amen. Yeah. There's souls being saved. Lives are being changed. Go tell them, amen, to come in. Yeah. Amen. Go tell them, amen, that they need to be saved. And I do curse today. I do cure today and tomorrow and the third day and I shall be perfected. Nevertheless, I must walk today and tomorrow the day following for it cannot be that a prophet perish out of Jerusalem Listen to what he said. Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, which killeth the prophets and stoneth them that are sent unto thee. How often I would have gathered thy children together as a hen does gather her board under her wing, and ye would not. Behold, your house is left unto you desolate. And verily I say unto you, you shall not see me until the time comes. And when you shall say, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Amen. Tell that old fox. I love that when I read that. You just go tell that old fox to come on where I'm at. You just go tell him to come on. Go to them children and tell them, hey, listen here, hell's going to be your home if you don't get right. Amen. right. Go to them nieces and nephews and say, hell's going to be your home if you don't get it right. right. Begin to go tell them, amen. Go tell them about the Jesus that saved your soul. Go tell them about Jesus. Who is this man? He walked the shores of Galilee. Who is this man? He opened blinded eyes. Who is this man? He raised the lame and he caused the lame to walk. Who is this man? He healed the withered hand. Who is this man? Amen. That walked upon the water. Go tell somebody about Jesus. Go tell them. Amen. You got to live right. Well, Brother Miller, that's awful strange tonight. It's awful strange to me too, Sister Bonnie. Just driving down the road, talking to him about David. And how David went to see Glag. And not only that, when Saul and Jonathan was killed, that Shunammite came to 
doing but sin. He said, I come to tell you that Jonathan and Saul is dead. I come to tell you, amen, that he was, Saul was fixing to fall on his sword. And he called out my name to come and fall upon me. And he said, I went over there and I killed him. I slew him. And I took his crown off of his head. And I brought it to the Lord. I brought it to you, David. David called one of the men over there and he said, I want you to fall upon him. I want you to kill him. And the Bible said that they weeped. That David weeped over Saul and Jonathan because Jonathan was like his brother. They love one another just like a brother. And the Bible said that David wouldn't let them eat. They all mourned. The whole camp of Israel they mourned. Because Saul was anointed of God. And he told that man, said, why did you kill the anointed? But he, David knew that he didn't kill him. David also had to repent. David repented a lot. If you read the Bible, he repented a lot. And he would say, Lord, what do you want me to do then? And God said, if you'll go do it, David, I'll put them into your hand. I'll deliver them into your hand. God even set up ambushes. Brother Michael. In other words, go ahead and tell that old fox. Just go ahead. Tell that old fox to come where I'm at. Bring him in my midst. He won't want to be in my midst. He'll be ready to run. That's what Jesus was saying. Just tell him, come on in here. Bring him in here where I'm at. Bring him in here where I healed on the Sabbath day. Just like I told the church people, you hypocrites. If he can tell the church people, you hypocrites, amen, he ain't afraid of a fox. He ain't afraid of a devil. And we're not supposed to be neither because he said greater works shall you do because I go to the Father. We got to repent, church. We got to get things right. Well, Brother Miller, I ain't done nothing wrong. Get in the mirror and ask God about it. Get in the mirror and ask God about it. What, 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 what can be wrong with it? Really? Well, the Bible said rebellion is just a spirit of witchcraft. Right. Great apostle Paul declared. People are not. Sister Jackie. Go on and witness him for Jesus and tell people about Jesus. What did he save you from? Just to not go tell nobody? He called you to be a witness. To go out and tell people they need to be saved. Tell people about Jesus. Stand all over the house. I come to tell somebody on TikTok tonight. It's going to be hard to enter into that straight gate. It's going to be hard to enter in if you ain't right. Come on, son. If you ain't repented. And you ain't turned yourself around. It's not going to do you no good. You've got to get saved. And live right. Live right. You can't be perfect. But he said strive. In other words, work at it. Every day, work at it. Repent every day. Bless you, Heavenly Father. Jesus Lord God, I read Luke 13 tonight. Lord, and I preach what you read on my heart. God, I've done what you said to do tonight. Lord, I know you told me today. You 
church crowd and call them a hypocrite. Can you imagine what most churches would do today? They'd be throwing him out the door, amen. We don't want that kind of preaching in here. You ain't go on and walk somewhere else. You don't need, you ain't welcome here. Amen. I listened to a guy the other night, he said that he went to a church and then they told him he wasn't welcome. Because he didn't have the kind of clothes they had on. He didn't smell like they did. And then he didn't have the high karate or whatever they used to wear all the time. And then that polo and all that smelly stuff. Amen. Listen, Jesus said, Come as you are, and he would no wise cast you out. He didn't say come in a three-piece suit. There's a lot of people who can wear long hair and long dresses, amen, and they won't make them a Christian. Amen. They'll be the one standing outside the gate, him saying, I never knew you. Who do you think you are? I don't know you. I don't want him to hear him say that to me. I want to hear him say, well done. Thou good and faithful servant. You've dug around your tree. You fertilized it with the Word of God. You know, that's how we grow every day is by reading the Word of God. Sister Bonnie, that's how we grow, by reading God's Word. And when we pray, amen, and we begin to pray, and we start watering it, amen, you just can't eat it and not water it. You've got to water it. You've got to drink that living water to go with it to wash it down. Amen. Then that old Holy Ghost to come along, Brother Ray, and it'll teach you. Man, it'll teach you what to say and how to say it. It'll train you in all truth, amen. It'll teach you all truth. Amen, it'll lead you. It ain't going to lead you wrong. I guarantee you it ain't going to lead you wrong. Amen, we appreciate it.
appreciate the Lord tonight. Amen. Who wants to testify? Amen. Tell our TikTok we appreciate y'all. Amen. We love y'all. We go live. We love y'all. We appreciate y'all. Facebook Live, we appreciate y'all. Amen. We're praying for you. I thank God every day for TikTok. We go live, Facebook. Amen. That we're reaching souls, Sister Jackie. That's what it's all about. And through TikTok, somebody the other day said, Well, I watch on TikTok. It's good. That's good. Amen. See, a lot of times the devil wants to try to use tools with God. God can use them for his glory. Amen. The Bible said there's nothing new under the sun. Amen. I was reading the other day, Sister Jackie, and man, they had good salads back in the Bible day. Man, they had cucumbers. They had squash. They had it all. Amen. They had the uh, pomegranate. That's what Jesus is going to do with the pomegranate. A pomegranate's got so many seeds in it. And if you count those seeds, that's how many verses are in the Bible. It's in a pomegranate. Amen. Something about the fruit. There's something about the fruit trees. Brother Ray, did you know you can eat the leaves off of a peach tree? You can take the wood off of a peach tree and smoke a good old roast with it, boy, make that makes it taste so good. There's something about a fruit tree that God's trying to tell us. Amen. We've got to get our fruit tree right. We want to make heaven our home. We've got to get our fruit tree right. But we love y'all. TikTok, big old live, Facebook live. We appreciate y'all. Apologize for our internet messing up. We just got our new modem box. I don't know what's going on. But the wind blowing like it is, there's a lot of people that ain't got internet around here. Amen. So uh, we ask y'all to. Please tune us back in Sunday morning. Amen. 11, a little after maybe. Amen. We get everything set up going. Amen. We try to get it all going. Amen. But we get we get knocked off. We have to get back on. Amen. But we love you. We appreciate you. Until Sunday morning. May God be with you. Is our prayers from He's Live Community Church.